Hi, I'm Christy from The Lorker Planner and welcome to another great batch cooking keto vegan style. Today I give you three recipes to prepare. So let's hop right in. So number one, this is my lunch. I added some okara balls for more protein and I got here my keto bread with grilled cheese and egg salad, which is vegan, to this some salad and some veggies. This one is a dinner, it's called a dim sum. I already prepared it, but this time I just took radicchio, added some, on the top you see celery and radicchio and I don't know that word, steckerübe in English, but I will find it out. Those are two dinners, you know, I prepare most of the times just like only for three to four days, lunch and dinner. And next one is a mushroom pan with some zucchinis and Brussels sprouts. So in the evening, I'll just prepare it and I just throw it into the pan and just fry it up and that's simply it. So, and I also, you know, when I buy my foods, my veggies, I always pre-cut them because when I'm making the second batch of the, for the rest of the week, my veggies are pre-cut so I can pre-portion it, you know? So let's hop right in. You know, when you're meal prepping, especially when you're going vegan or on your keto diet to lose weight, it's very important just to pre-cut the foods and pre-pack it. And I always weigh it in, you know, and just write it on a sheet of paper how much uh, carbs everything has that I know, okay, I can eat of that two ounces or three ounces or seven ounces. So I got your mushrooms and this steckerübe and here I'm preparing a homemade keto tomato ketchup. I added here celery and tomatoes and I just cook it and then I will blend it later. So first step, we prepare the dim sum. So this means we're gonna fry up a small onion and this is the filling, it's celery, carrots and tofu. You can go with meat if you're not vegan, that's totally fine. I just got here like uh, 200 grams. I will put all the ingredients in the description box below. And to this, I add my super food mushrooms. They are low in calories and low in carbs and you can eat a ton of this. Okay, not a ton, but um, when I cook for two, I most of the times cook like five to 10 ounces. And to this, I add gluten-free soy sauce because there is no wheat in it, it's gluten-free and this won't kick you out of ketose. Okay, then this needs to be cooked very well. Not deadly cooked through, but you know, you have to roll those dim sums and I just take those um, radicchio leaves and to this I just, I had no peanut butter, you know, I just said, okay, let's go with almond butter uh, just to give it a more nutty taste because last time I added chopped, um, not onions, chopped peanuts and I just thought, why not? And it tastes re really, really good with the almond butter. It's just a light, nutty, sweet flavor. Stir everything well, and then we just put it later into a bowl that it just can cool down. And if you like it spicy, add sriracha. Okay, next step, we'll make the egg salad. So we go here with silken tofu. I never thought that you can make savory dishes or savory dips with silken tofu. I just only know uh, the chocolate pudding with silken tofu. So to this, I'll just cut a small half an onion. And next up is we're going to season it with salt with pepper and lots of curry powder to give it this yellowish color because it should look like egg salad. You can add more herbs if you want to, but I think that's pretty fine. And then you have to stir it very well. I want it more chunky, but the silken tofu is so soft that it almost gets like a egg salad texture, as you can see when my camera will focus or set to focus on sharp. Okay, next up, because I love ketchup, I just add here one whole cooked tomato. If you like to do this job, you can peel off the skin, but I don't really care, you know, I got a blender and I just add celery and the tomatoes and just only a bit of water. And then we're gonna blend it very well and then we cook it later. We're, we're gonna reduce the water 
of the fruits or the tomato of the fruits <laughs> of the veggies. And then we're gonna add some delicious apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar is your boost for metabolism and reduces your fat. Okay, here's another great dinner recipe. This is jackfruit in a crock pot. So I just drain it out of the can. Just get rid of all the water. It's young jackfruit, which I just bought in an Asian store. And then I'm just gonna add this into the slow cooker. To this, I'm just gonna add some tomato sauce and I just pre-cut um, some small carrots. And because I love celery, celery is very low in carbs, lower than carrots, but they give your, how should I say it, your stew such good texture. If you just cut it into rarely pieces or in bigger chunks, so you get, I need a bite, you know, I, I love stews and there must be a lot of veggies into it. Okay, and then I will start cooking it because all those things are veggies. You don't have to cook it through. I just cook it for one to two hours. Okay, so I already pre-cut my bread and now we're gonna spread some <laughs> vegan butter to it. And then we're gonna spread this lovely egg, vegan egg salad to it. You can just go with a regular egg salad if you're not vegan, it's totally fine. Um, but we're going under the week completely vegan and on the weekends we splurge a bit, you know, it's like sometimes we'll just have some meat, sometimes we'll just have some fish, but I just want to reduce my meat amount and eat more veggies, you know. So then we're gonna spread it. And uh, this one is more my version, you know, I just top it with some radishes and spring onions and for Toby I made just a, uh, a just put, for Toby, I just made some grilled cheese. I just topped a vegan cheese on top and just bumped it into the air fryer so he has a, qu a quick and fast lunch because he just does not really enjoy having a salad for lunch. He loves more. He's more the sandwich type, you know. <laughs> That's why I just prepare some sandwiches for him. So my friend, I hope you enjoyed this vegan keto meal prep batch cooking. Um, there's a lot of raw veggies, but I love to prepare or pre-cut my veggies and cook it in the night, just only for like five to 10 minutes and then I can enjoy my foods. So I just only pre-cook the foods which need a lot of um, texture, like adding herbs and just, you know, to reduce uh, some waters but most of the time I just enjoy enjoy it cooking in the night so I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section below what do you want to see more of batch cooking do you want more vegan or do you want more keto style let me know in the comment section below see you next Wednesday same time same place thank you for watching